Welcome back everybody, this is David with Knight Rider MTV uh, with another DFW series, Summer Series Racing and we're about to get started here um, I'm on the second, lined up on the second row here and, and uh, behind some pretty fast guys and uh, just kind of give you a rundown how the start goes down the um, guy in the blue kit he uh, He's going to make a pretty good run here, so pay attention to where he goes because he kind of disappears pretty fast. So here we go. Everybody kind of tightens up and just kind of pinches in in the middle there and shuts a lot of people out. So it opened up a gap on the side and he went shooting all the way up to the front. Um, and then everybody else just kind of run along. And doing a good job here and then right about there uh, Ben almost uh, took out, looked like Ben almost went down, I think he slipped the pedal and almost took out Sean there on the start I, uh, I was kind of surprised what was happening there we usually don't have any issues on these beginning races um, but uh, Jim Shorts jumped up ahead of me um, I don't know if you've been watching any of the other ones, but uh, Jim Shorts and I have been switching places a lot. I've uh, checked him out on Strava and he's been putting in a lot of mileage. He's just uh, old school in it with the uh, flats and stuff. So, um, but he does do a lot of training. He's not just out there riding for the first time. Um, but uh, anyhow, so we're like three wide almost here. Um, and uh, going in through that corner, um, these little corners here are a little bit tricky. They'll trip you up pretty good if you don't watch it. But uh, um, you see those guys almost tangling up behind me, and Rick here's ahead of me. I'm uh, trying to follow with him, and you can tell that we've already got a the the packs breaking up. We've got a gap up ahead uh, to the leading group, and then. Um, the chasing group and then a gap to Rick and a small gap to me and uh, so I'm seeing that gap kind of building up a little bit and I'm thinking if I can um, I'm gonna try to uh, get around Rick here the guy in front of me here uh, in just a second to see what uh, see if I can stay with the chasing group that's that's where I would like to be at that's about that's that that's a pace that would be pushing me pretty good uh, with all those guys up there and uh, and because Rick here's struggling a little bit I wanted to get around him instead of falling back with him um, but uh, if you notice the there's like a leading group I think it's like six or seven riders up ahead that uh, just went around there we'll see them again here in just a second we're gonna come back through on that switchback part right there. Yeah, it looks like it's about seven riders. Uh, so here, this is right before Heckle Hill. I'm making a pass on Rick and if you if you ever done this race, this is the uh, Heckle Hill is, is uh, called it called that for a reason because we got uh, Mike Baker over here heckling everybody. And it's funny as, as can be. So if it's your first time ever going through there and he's heckling you, you know just uh, laugh at his jokes and move on don't take it personally he's a good guy and, and we're, we're all having fun and he's volunteering his personal time to keep us safe while we cross that road so um, you know heckling back if you want but uh, anyway he's a really cool guy so um, here I'm uh, chasing Steven I'm trying to get around him and then uh, Rick had recovered a little bit and he put the pass on me here. You see how that trail is real tricky to get in and out of. He was dropping back down into it. It looked like Jim Shorts was going to try to put the pass on him but he wasn't able to so I was watching him here and he's like posturing up like like he's getting a little frustrated wanting to get around. I don't think that's just part of the way, the way he rides a little bit. I don't think that was really what was... I think he, just, uh, he, he definitely was ready to pass but you know, he's looking for a good time to pass, not not force it or anything. Um, 
of all the racing that we've done together so far, uh, uh, all his passes have been really smooth and clean, so I've been pretty impressed with, with his riding skills. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're coming around to finishing uh, the first of the four laps right here. So you see all the tents set up, and it's a real fun party up here. Everybody's having a good time. It's like a festival. It's what it's about like. So Jim Shorts puts a pass on Rick, and um, he's moving on. And I get a little closer to Rick here, and I start giving him, you know, heckling him a little bit about Jim Shorts passing him. And uh, he he told me to come on around if I could do it. And I said okay. So came on around him, and then uh, caught up to Jim Shorts and put a pass on him coming back up the other direction here and what I'm trying to do is get up there by by the next two guys uh, to follow the, with them because we're running at a pace that's right at my limit and I felt like if I could stay with them then I maybe we'll pull some other riders back and then they can uh, kind of push me along um, so that's what I'm working working to do but it's uh it's pushing me to my limits right now, just trying to catch them. But I get the pass on Jim Shorts, and then I'm up on Steven right here. We're coming back through Heckle Hill to cross that road. And then uh, right here I started kind of sliding a little bit, and you see Steven look over his shoulder. And I think he decided it was time to go, because I was behind him. And uh, watch this pass he puts on his teammate up here. It's coming up right there. It's real nice and smooth. Went on around him in that single track. But, um, so here Steven is um, putting the gap on us. We got another rider coming back. That's Sean coming back to us. And then uh, he's, he's usually really strong, but he was having, having an off day that day. So he, uh, the heat was getting to him. And then I got an e-bike rider coming up behind me trying to pass me. And uh, he's gonna he's starting to force a pass here on this corner, which was a bad spot to try to pass. And then he backs off a little bit, gets back behind me, which was I think wise to not try to force it right into that little spot there. That was that was a bad bad move if if we actually initiated it. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we come through again, and we're on the fourth and final, and. Uh, that was it for my race so um, I'm trying a new thing here to shorten it up and just give it give a quick rundown and then I've got the full video out if you so choose to watch that and I'll post both links up and I'll throw this out there for uh, people on Facebook thanks for watching